What's going on, everybody? Today's video, well, if you haven't seen it yesterday, it started getting a little more popularity today on social media. Josh Giddy has an allegation of an inappropriate relationship, and I thought it was with a high school junior, but there's a little bit more to this as we go on. I am going to black out one of the names on here because I don't know if that can really be pushed forward yet because of a minor's name and stuff. So when you see it come up and see like a little smiley face or something over it, that's the reason why. So yesterday I got a message asking me if I heard about uh, this at all, and I said no. So, you know, first thing I go is I look at like ESPN, NFL Net or NFL.com and stuff like that. Nothing. Or I mean, uh, NBA.com. I'm like, wow, there's nothing on this. I do a Google search. Some websites pop up, and I'm like, I don't know if these have spoof sites or whatever. I don't know. So as I was uh, driving around today, I end up uh, getting a conversation with somebody on the phone. And he's like, yeah, it's actually uh, all over the place now. It's mostly more local news down in the OKC area than anywhere else. I'm like, wow. I'm like, well, you know, the Wanda Franco uh, situation blew up. Mostly because he's a big, supposed to be a big star, all this stuff like that there. But I thought about, you know, there were other pro athletes that have big names that you really didn't know much about. If you did catch it, because you follow that sports team type deal. And you're reading like hometown media stuff onto it. Josh Giddy, oh, is this his, uh, I think his third year now? Yeah, third year in the league. Pretty sure on it. Yeah, I, I had to think back here, but it, I think it is his third year in the league. It has allegations against him that, you know, he he's, has no comment on, according to this article here. Coach, no comment, and I understand it. This one here says the NBA is to investigate, which, you know, they should. Even if it's a false thing, they got to get it squashed because it tarnishes just not the name of the player, but also the NBA and everything else out there onto it. But mostly it does tarnish that player's name, and then you start going with the team to the bigger piece onto it, and everybody gets hit onto it. Now, the NBA does have really, really strict rules on this. Don't be thinking Carl Malone back in the day. I know somebody's going to say that in the comments. Carl Malone got away with it. A different time frame. Um... You know, different things nowadays with social media from back. I mean, think about back then. You had to call somebody with a phone that had a cord in it. Possibly, you might not even have a push-button phone back then. You had to sit there and use the rotary phone. Uh-oh. I know. Now Now people are, like, probably Googling what a rotary phone is and stuff. But different time, different places on to this. And, you know, with the age of where we're at now with social media and videos everywhere, videos on your phone, stuff like that there. Think about this. In the, in the late 80s, early 90s, if somebody told you one day we were going to have these, I'm going to try to think how I can describe it from back then, wireless phones that you could carry around everywhere. There were like mini computers and you could take pictures and send them every which way in video. People would have thought you were crazy. Not going to lie. So, back to this here. Looking at this, you know, it hasn't really been published way out, even though Josh Kitty himself is, you know, up there with the bigger names and stuff like that, just because of the rookie years. You know, we're going, this is Wemby's rookie year before we got Chet's, then the year before Giddy was in that class there. We'll look at that there. So it talks about the consequences, and this gives a little bit more. And this is, like I said, there's a smiley face right down here or something I put over top of that. But, you know, look at this. It says, if the accusations against Giddy are proven accurate, he could face severe consequences, legal rem uh, repercussions, along with disciplinary actions from the NBA. That talks about the league strictly prohibits players from engaging in sexual activities with minors, maintaining a stringent policy. Furthermore, Giddy's public image may suffer significantly, particularly among the youth who see him as a role model due to his status of talent and promising player. Again, this is all alleged. Nothing has been proven 
fact. Okay, so the, like these next few paragraphs here, I I didn't really go into depth onto it. Now, Giddy did shut his uh, Instagram down and stuff like that. But it says, the alleged controversy, including a viral picture with a minor girl, led to the closure of Giddy's Instagram account. Is that true? I don't know. Is it false? I have no idea. It says, underscoring the potential impact on his reputation and public standing. Of course it would. I mean, just think about this. You know how many big-name players are out there and some... But he out there's like, oh, I could probably get money this way or that way. I'm going to do this. And then, you know, stuff never happened. Now, there's been a lot over the years. Um, some of the bigger names, Ben Roethlisberger. Now, this is not just all about minors, too. Don't get me wrong. You know, you had the Deshaun Watson incident. That was with the massage therapist stuff. I, I forget what the count was up to. You know, you had the... Pitcher for the I think it was a pitcher for the Pirates, but he was in the minor leagues. Yeah, of course, Wander Franco. But there, there's just a lot to it out there. So basically, this says a sophomore girl. What I've read before was a junior in high school. Maybe it was while she was a sophomore. Now she's a junior. I have no idea. But asserted a claim of engaging in sexual intercourse with a Thunder player, although the post from anonymous source has been removed. Screenshots have circulated on certain websites suggesting a uh, potential damaging scenario for Giddy. Haven't seen it. Didn't really want to look for it and all that stuff. Uh, just crazy to see, you know, all this stuff unfolding. I thought there was more down. It just talks about, you know, him as a player down here. To see this stuff coming out more and more and more and more against athletes. And I think, you know, Wanda Franco's situation completely different than this one, of course. Um, looks like Giddy's going to still play basketball until the NBA does its investigation. And I'll, I'll do a follow-up video on this, you know. And the worst part of this comes into play is that, one, if Giddy is found guilty of this, Lots of uh, collectors out there are probably going to be very upset. The other part is, is if Giddy's found innocent, how quickly can his reputation, you know, come back? And then at the same time frame, is there going to be somebody else out there? It's going to be like, oh, well, I'm going to try this this way. You know, it's he's vulnerable now because he's already been hit with one allegation. I've seen and heard of this before. Um... But we'll see what comes about onto this. You know, the weirdest part was, as I was on the phone this morning, because like I said, not a whole lot of this out here. As you can see, like this source here says from Marka, Storm by Sam, 10 hours ago, Thunderwire, Y Sports. I guess Thunderwire might be, it says Thunderwire.usa today. And this one's the same one. I sat there talking, and I was like, you know, I must bought some Josh Giddy rookie autos because I thought his stuff was really, really underpriced last week. Well, the guy was in them for 3X, stuff's dropped, he don't want to move them, even at current prices. I think I talked, no, I didn't even release that video yet, I was still working on it, that's why. It, you guys will hear that in another video coming out from last week's show where I was set up at. But... I just thought, well, so glad I didn't buy any of his cards because now you, you're you in that bubble like, okay, is he going to be good? Is this going to fall down and under and everything? You know, and just because he has not come out saying, no, I did not have sexual intercourse a minor, you got to remember there's a lot to do with public affairs. Not only does his agent have to, you know, protect him during all this, lawyers, you know, the team, everything else, he's got to play by their roles. And they might be like, listen, don't comment one way or another. I got you. want to say you're innocent. But at this time frame, it's best for you just to do no comment, no comment. Sometimes people think the no comment piece always means you're guilty. Sometimes it doesn't. It's just that you want to get everything correct and you don't want to come out there and say something that's going to hurt you later on down the road, too. But I was just curious how many people out there have heard about the allegations against Mr. Josh Giddy of the Oklahoma City Thunder today or yesterday. 
Um, it's just not really pushed out there as much as they did with the Wander Franco one uh, a few months ago, was it? Maybe June, was that about five months ago or so? I'm sure this will start circulating a little bit more here eventually coming up. But just curious to anybody's thoughts on this uh, situation. How it's being handled, I would say just a little bit differently from the NBA versus the MLB. Uh, again, with the MLB, a lot of it was with the team itself putting him on what they call it, like a temporary leave of absence, but he was still on his roster until the MLB did their piece onto it. Then all this other stuff started surfacing too onto it. A little bit different, I know, the situations, but they're both being handled a little bit differently as well, too. Just in my opinion. Fire that, guys. I will catch you all next video.